Okay, this is really getting frustrating now, so I'm going to be redoing this once again. My other recording stopped due to like file size, and I had almost everything deleted, so, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a pain. And I really, this is, I'm going to be totally honest, this is a video I was dreading doing, because showing off this whole collection takes about roughly about half an hour to 40 minutes, if I had to guess, and then putting it all, you know, back on the shelf takes about an hour. So yeah, it's a good hour and a half I'm wasting doing this. And I mean, I only, I'm only doing, quite frankly, I'm only doing this because with the part closed, I have really, and I can't really go anywhere, I really have no videos to upload, and I don't want, you know, I don't want my channel to go downhill. So um, that's, that's the only reason why I'm doing this, to keep my channel alive pretty much during this. So, anyway, that's not the point of this video. Kind of is, but yeah, you, 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 2018, Six Flags, 2017, Hershey. Fun fact, I only told a few people this. I might actually be going back to Hershey next year with Avery around the time of his birthday and might be planning a coaster trip that includes Hershey. It's a possibility, but we obviously don't know what's going to happen yet. But, like, you know, it's just something that's in the works right now. Obviously, you know, big announcement video coming when we find out if it's actually happening or not. Hopeful mindset is that it is, of course. 2012, Six Flags, 2013, 2014 got thrown out accidentally. 2015 was the, is the green one. 2016 is the blue one. I think that's 2017, and the hideous looking yellow one's 2019. You know, the, that blue one you can barely see is not like what I'll show that off once I move all this out of the way. So, yeah. First one we be showing off is Mountain Dew Voodoo. It came out. I think last year was the first year it was out, and I didn't do a first taste on it, I think, because I was really distracted that day, but I thought it was very good. It tasted like a orange creamsicle, which I love, and so, um, yeah, I heard a rumor it's coming back this year. Hopefully, it's true, so I'm um, definitely, I might, I might do a review with this year, because I missed it last year, probably. Next one I'm showing off is live water in a one-liter bottle. Sadly, the only amount do I get in one-liter down here is regular, which is really dumb. Like, never found one-liters about how it was out. I never found any one-liters of voltage, or even white out. I think Wilds is continued anyway, but never found one liters of any of those. I didn't even found one liters of diet, which is really dumb. So yeah, any any one liter of you know Mountain Dew is exotic for this collection. But yeah, live on one liter. I think the flavor is a little bit overrated. But I don't I don't hate it either. I still like it. Diet Mountain Dew in a twenty ounce bottle. This is Walking Dead promotion. My brother actually got this. For me, specifically for my collection, but I mean, eh, flavor's nasty. Don't love this, you know, not going to dispute that. Mountain Dew Game Field Tropical Smash from 2012. I, that does rip off from 2017 in a 12 ounce can. Probably the best Game Field that's not. Why did I say 2012? I wasn't even drinking Mountain Dew really at the time. Okay, I'm just out of it. But yeah, it's from 2017. But probably my favorite Game Field that's not. So just cherry. It's very good, and I hope it comes back, but it had really bad sales, so I don't think so. If it does, it won't be anytime soon. This stuff was nasty. I'm really, I'm not going to go into too much detail, especially because at the 7 minute mark, the recording stopped, so I'm really going to be very brief. Dominion Root Beer, I got this from Virginia. Don't sell it around here. It's made with pure honey. I think the honey was a little bit too strong in this, but it wasn't bad. I didn't do a first taste because I was on vacation and I was just focused on other things. Hit in a 20 ounce bottle. I got this in Florida. They're more common in the South. It's actually become one of my favorite sodas now the more and more I've had it. And right now, really, the only place I can get it is the Freestyles. Some soda fountains have it, but not too many. Around here, anyway. Coke, zero sugar, orange, vanilla. My brother got this at my former high school, and he decided to let me keep the bottle. Which, I mean, I did do a first taste on it a few months later, which was, I believe, in a can. And, I mean, it wasn't great because I had that na nasty diet taste that I, I hate. But, I mean, if it, if it was the only slot around, I, I, I guess I'd get it. Now, uh... Drop can twister is is extremely rare. I think the closest place that that has it is like three hours from 
Actually, no, more than three hours. More like four or five hours. Maybe might be the closest place that has it. I think it's either Keene, New York, or Rochester, New York. It's one of those. But well, it's far upstate. And so uh, yeah, I thought it was very good. I think it might actually be better than my wire because it had a really strong orange taste and a really rich orange taste. I I loved it. Definitely hope to have it again when I'm you know in one of those areas. But chances are that's not anytime soon. 1893 Pepsi Cola Ginger Cola. This was disgusting. It's made, I believe, number three on my worst sodas list. And, uh, yeah, it was awful. I did get some requests to, to try Sprite Ginger. That sounds nasty, but I haven't gotten around to it because I haven't been out of the house. But I'm definitely going to definitely gonna do that in the near future. So now the next one I'm going to try... Next one, I mean, I'm going to show off. It's Coke's it's Cinnamon Coke from uh, 2019. I only had this once. I thought it was mediocre at best. It was better than, you know... When Pepsi tried to put cinnamon in a cola, which is absolutely nasty, but, uh, doesn't really say much. The, the flavor was just odd, but, like, I, I've had worse. But it's something I only had one cent, it's not I didn't really care for it. Coke, orange, vanilla. I kept this because I thought it was going to be limited time at first, but no, it's permanent. I mean, I loved it when I first had it, but, like, I got bored of it, kind of, but, I mean, it wasn't... Bad by any means, but like I had it a lot, and I just like, you know, I I got I got bored of it fast, but then not not a bad thing though. It's still good. Sprite cranberry, it's one ounce bottle. This is actually my brother's. I only had like a sip, so I really I very vaguely remember my thoughts on this one. But like I can explain a little more with this one. But then again, I only had one bottle, but no, I had it once. So, uh, oh, another thing I forgot to show off. Well, I didn't forget. It was that it was buried and everything. I got this from Ryan of the Bull 2017, when El Toro won the Golden Ticket Awards. And before anyone asks, I will likely be going if they do hold it this year. But that's the big question, but like, that's just not what this video is about. But if, they, if it does not get cancelled, then I should make it. So yeah, this is the Dollywood one, really... It's kind of lame, in my opinion, but I mean... Still, it's an exotic souvenir cup, and so that's a, uh, it's cool enough. This is a Coke can with like polar bears on. It was for like the winter season primarily. Can you feel Arctic burst? Definitely not as good as Tropical Smash. Better than Berry Lime, in my opinion. It might be a little better. Actually, I think my might be a little better than this. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was just kind of a, just kind of bland in my opinion. Two Dr. Pepper cans right here, though very different designs. This is from Spider-Man Far From Home in 2019. And this is just one with a bunch of dogs on it from, I believe, 2018. Cherry Rock... Uh, this is a Rocket Fizz Cherry Cola, I believe. Like, Wizard of Oz on it. Now, uh, the store I got this from in Tennessee had a bunch of weird stuff. It had, uh, like, ranch dressing soda, grass soda, dirt soda. Who in their right mind even thought that was a good idea? I mean, if anything, I buy those for a, you know, a, a disgusting soda challenge, but even that, like, was I gonna buy that for your enjoyment? Hell no. So, uh, yeah, this, I mean, I had it once when I was in Tennessee, I mean, I liked it, but the cherry was a lot stronger than the cola, so that made it really sweet, so that I wasn't crazy about, but as a whole, I mean, it was definitely, I definitely would have rather this, I would assume anyway, I never had ranch dressing soda the other ones, but I read much rather this than ranch dressing soda or dirt soda or, I think grass soda was one of the other ones. It's nasty. Painful 2, double XP on it from 2016, I believe. It's just regular Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew special, I think throwback's way better. I think we're probably going to stop part 1 around the 15 minute mark, and then upload it, and then we're going to focus on part 2 afterwards. 7.5 ounce Coke with Santa on it. I found this in, believe it or not, May of 2018. Expired, uh... I can't really read that because of the lighting, but I think it says July 20th, 2018? Something like that. Like, I found this really late in the season, which is really weird. But then again, it was at Old Navy, so, I mean, who really buys store there? I don't. Dr. Pepper Cream Soda. I... Don't think this is limited time. I think it's permanent by side. Just keep it just to be on the safe side. But I thought it was really good. And it might be my new favorite Dr. Pepper. But that's really... I have to have cherry again. And cherry vanilla again. So like that's going to take some deciding. But I mean I thought it was really good. And definitely 
definitely exceeded expectations. This one did not. Game Fuel Berry Lime from 2015, I believe. I only had it once, and I thought it was terrible. I'm being totally honest. I heard that the Frieza Speedway is actually pretty good, and that actually doesn't sound too bad, but like, this flavor itself, I thought, was... I, I hated it, personally. <laughs> It was like that, like the sour taste just made it. That just made it weird. The best thing in my collection, in my opinion, Black Ops 3 Citrus Cherry 2015. This is, I think, my all time favorite still after really giving it some thought. It's amazing. I think Citrus Cherry is continued permanently, and even the states that had it permanent, because there were some, discontinued it there too, which absolutely sucks, because. I mean, mine didn't have it permanent, but if I lived during that had it permanent, believe me, I'd be buying like four 12 packs of that per week, maybe even five. Love this stuff so much, it's amazing. Black label is actually now discontinued. I don't have a white label or green label in my collection, but I really wasn't crazy about either of those anyway. But Avery got this for me when he last saw me back in March. From my, I think it was a, some gas station by him, but like. Yeah, I have my last can of this, and I'm really, I'm really gonna miss it. Actually, it was really good. Two of these glass bottles, Fanta glass bottle. I only have two glass bottles. I mean, other than the root beer ones, I only have two glass bottles in my collection. And a Coke glass bottle. Which, this is, I believe, the real sugar Coke. It's really good. Now, uh, Coke Cola Cherry Vanilla from this year. I. Don't know if this is permanent, but that's why that's that's exactly why I decided to keep it, just in case if it's not, I have it in my collection. I think this is better than regular cherry coke after really considering it, but I mean I still love both. This on the other hand was disappointment. For sure. This just like the energy flavor with the coke flavor, that just that just made it taste so weird. And like it had a diet aftertaste when it wasn't even diet soda, which I mean it was, it, it, was, it left a really bitter taste, and I just, I thought it was terrible. I think a 3 out of 5 for us is way too nice. I think a 2, more so, even a 1.5, it, it was bad, in my opinion. Speaking of being too generous, I think giving this 3.5 out of 5 was beyond too generous. I had it again, and ugh, this definitely tastes like cherry medicine. This was awful, in my opinion. Absolute one out of five, and you know, definitely. I was actually spending a lot of this from a cherry game fuel, but this is no such as cherry at all. This, ugh, nasty. I have about 13 minute marks, so I think I might conclude part one right here. I'm gonna do Frostbite from this year, it was very good. And uh, yeah, I got a 12 pack of it for my birthday. It's actually become my favorites now. I wasn't expecting, I honestly was not expecting much out of this, but I was actually blown away by it. So, uh, yeah, part two will be recorded momentarily after I upload this. Peace out.